big Kiefer built Genesis. Just traded in here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is uh, eight wide, 14 foot uh, living quarter short wall with a slide out, four horse gooseneck trailer. This is a big girl. This is not a small little one here. Um, the uh, family that owned it, local family, used it for years, loved it. They absolutely love the trailer. It's giving them no fits, but the kids are getting bigger. And the kids just don't fit on the dinette and the sofa like they used to. So they swapped it out for a basically brand new fifth wheel toy hauler here at Haylitz. And they're back on the road and camping and building family memories. We uh, carried Kiefer Built for a while, so I'm pretty familiar with this. We got the uh, double leg jack system here for enhanced stability. Very nice on longer wide body coaches like this. Um, the uh, uh, steel structure here, anything you can really see... It's got like almost like a truck liner spray on bed coating to help keep the weather away from it. So, uh, you know, not to mention all aluminum skin, all aluminum frame. This is made to be a very heavy duty, long lasting trailer. Uh, we never had problems with them when we sold them brand new. Um, uh, slide out here has the awning cover. So uh, you can use this thing in the uh, rain and help. Well, you can use any slide out in the rain, but pardon me. It, it helps keep the weather off the top of that slide. It helps protect your seals and whatnot, you know. If you've got a giant sliding room built into the side of this, it's nice to help protect those seals. Um, four horse gooseneck, like I mentioned, you do, uh, being eight wide, you do have manger tack storage. And all four stalls do have drop down feed windows here with safety face gates so your horse doesn't stick its head out going down the road, catch a uh, June bug to the eye, and, you know, go crazy inside your, uh, inside your coach. And uh, this was used a lot, but man, did they, I mean, they kept it up. They really did keep this thing in good shape. You can tell that by looking at, like, nobody cleans the manger tack storage of their tra trailers. Never. No one ever does that. So when I look in there and I see that clean, that tells me they really uh, took care of this. One of the Kiefer Built's big claim to fame is they have the beefiest, hitches, or beefiest hinges in the industry, and I'm inclined to agree with them. Those are very heavy duty. Actually, our, our, uh, our trailer rep was uh, just a little bit shorter than me and twice as wide. And that guy could hang off these doors like nobody's business and swing around on them. I like the extruded side panels too, and they're doing their job here. They're, you know, uh, strong, they look good, but they help keep the, the horses from dinging up and, and nicking this thing up when you have them tied down between, you know, heats and events and rides and things like that. Um, the uh, all aluminum rear tack here, that can fold down and fold out of the way if you're so inclined. Uh, it is a four horse trailer, it does have a four place saddle tree, it is telescoping so it can swing out to you. One thing I like here is how they have a blanket bar built uh, right above each saddle here as opposed to a separate blanket bar. That's pretty cool, I've not really seen that done a lot before. Um, uh, all aluminum, extruded uh, plank flooring here, heavy duty like cattle flooring basically. And again used, not abused, and you can see that because all this stuff has white paneling. White paneling is very unforgiving. If you had a horse that was constantly flipping its head around and whatnot, this would be all scarred up and nicked up and dinged up. And you can see clearly from the reflection here, that is not the case. We've got the stud curtain on the front uh, here. Now, if you have three horses, you kind of want a four horse trailer. And in that case, we don't call this a stud wall, we call it the stuff wall. Because you're gonna use this front uh, stall here for extra bales and extra tack and things like that. It's a very handy thing. Not to mention, who doesn't like the uh, you know easy one-hand operated latches? And did you hear how quiet that is? These are like dead silent latches. I like that. Um, let's move up front to the living quarter here. Kind of short and sweet. This one, really, it's in great shape. It doesn't need a lot of help finding a home. I just want to let people know what's out there. Huge living quarters in this thing. Like I said, 14-foot short wall. Not a small living quarter. Uh, made even larger with a full 36 inch deep dinette slide out. Uh, can fold down into a sleeper, full storage underneath the dinette benches. We've got the uh, um, privacy night shades over all the windows and all the shades. Everything's in good working order. Central air works good, heat works good, everything works well. You know, uh, no leaks, no problems. Um, good cabinetry. I mean, this, you know, this is good cabinetry. This is stuff that's made to be bounced down the road, it's made to be used, and it was very, very well kept. Being 7'6 tall, you're going to have a lot of extra headroom up in that gooseneck bunk and the shower. 
Um, this is a, a full-size sleeper sofa here. And this is like almost like a, a, a full-on RV floor plan because you do have 14 feet for the living quarters in here. A lot of living quarters are 8, maybe 10 feet. This is a very big LQ, even to the point that we have a full-on 6 cubic foot refrigerator and freezer here. And that is gas electric. So if um, you know, you are uh, off the grid, so to speak, or you're at an event that doesn't have any kind of hookups. You can still have a nice fridge and a cold drink on hand after a hot ride. Um, this is nice too. The way that they put the uh, stovetop cover, they built it right out of the sink or the uh, um, countertop material where they cut the hole in for the uh, stove. They just reused it and made it the countertop cover here, so that you have full-on countertop space where normally you wouldn't. Big closet right by the door, TV entertainment center up there, should you be so inclined to add one. Wow, wow, somebody did some work on a sound system in here. That is, that's serious. Um, all LED lights too, which is a nice little touch. And But I mean, even without the lights on, it's very comfortable in here during the day. I don't know that you really need them on a whole lot until it gets to be nighttime. And hey, a floor to ceiling mirror so you can see the ugliest thing in the trailer. This guy. <laughs> Uh, again, 7-6 tall shower means tall guys like me do not have headroom problems. You've already got to see me once. I won't subject you to that again. And this is a seamless one-piece fifth wheel shower. This is, You can jump up and down, hop in this thing. It won't break. This is, a uh, again, a very well-built coach made for very long-term use and ownership. You know, the uh, whole point of Kiefer Built Trailers was always, you know, we are, we're uh, a better build made for longer ownership and use. And that's exactly what this is going for. And I really feel they've accomplished it. And it's especially nice that it was really well cared for the first time. So, you know, you take care of it the second time and you should never expect any problems out of this one. Give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camp.